everybody all this is Texas Gaming Industries here and welcome to episode 26 part 17 of my let's play a transport fever 2 in the previous episode we have got our first loads of mail from London all the way to Australia and as well in that episode we unlocked the victor's victor unlocked a brand new airplane that being the Vickers Victoria as well as this variant the same plane that we used on our flight to Australia and in this episode, we're basically going to get started with our airplanes taking off with our loads of mail bound for Australia. Speaking of which, where are the rest of my planes? This plane needs to go back to pick up more mail. And so is this one. Hopefully they'll have enough fuel to get back. Oh no. Great. I'll have to buy a new one to replace it. Alright, so, and the same thing happened again to Airplane 4. Uh, yeah. Alright, we still have plenty of fuel, tools, and food at the airport. All it just needs is just more mail picked up. Victor- Oh, great! Airplane 2 crashed. Wait, does that mean this airplane does not have great fuel efficiency? I'm hoping that's not the case. Well, anyway, at least this plane will pick up about 10 units of mail. While our trucks are still picking everything up. Thankfully, this truck is about to make pull in with its next load of mail for the airport. I have to buy a new airplane, I guess. Great. Let's see. You're going back to the Heath Aerodrome cargo hold. That's good. Now, as long as our first airplane is able to fly all the way to Australia, that will be fine. I mean, it has... Oh, no! Ran out of fuel! Ugh. That's not good at all. That is not good. So, I think not on my airplane. I don't think any of these airplanes are capable of carrying mail anymore. The distance is just too darn long for the plane to take off and fly towards Darwin. Uh, I am afraid I'll have to basically get some new airplanes instead. Well, let's just hope and let's just see what happens with this airplane three. Surely this airplane might be able to get to Darwin. I mean, just filled up with fuel. Should try. I mean, I don't get it. How did the little airplane that I had that carried only six units of mail fly between London and Australia without crashing into the ocean? Do they have better fuel economy than this one? Well, if that's the case, hmm, let's see, maybe I could start, now this airport requires tools as well to basically operate, hmm, maybe, I'm not so sure, we'll just see what happens with aircraft 3, let's hope this plane will make it to its destination. Or at least a bit farther. Why is it going at 53 miles an hour? And why is it still climbing? Surely it has already reached its, reached its flying altitude by now. <sighs> Whatever the case may be. One thing is for sure, this, these planes will need tons and tons of fuel on the entirety of their trip. Hmm. Let me think. We could pick up fuel from this air, from this fuel refinery, take it down by rail from Vienna, and take it to this cargo hold here in Constantinople, 
where the air fuel could be transferred onto trucks and drop it off here. But we'll need tools as well, which could be accomplished from this tool works here in Rome. Yep. These planes cannot fly to Australia. So I wasted a lot of money and time getting them to fly. So, let's see. I think we'll have to basically fly them here to Australia. We are not going to be loading or unloading anything. They're going to stop to fill up on supplies. And then they're going to continue their flight. Let's see. Hmm. What other place can I find supplies for them? I need to drop them off in a city, in an airport, where there's tons of supplies available, and it's not a British airport. Alright. And for the return trip, it's going to be the same. Hopefully this will work. Alright. With that in mind, now we got to get started on transporting more. So some fuel, tools, and food. Thankfully, we could just drop off supplies here at Constantinople. We'll have a full load of fuel. Or just pick up any load that's available. And to make sure that our trucks are filled to the brim with tools and food, we're also going to have another pair of another truck station close by. Put this truck station right beside the railway station. The food will basic food will be picked up here, but tools and fuel will be picked up here. With that airport down, then we gotta get let's see. I think we need to also supply this with food, fuel, and tools here in Saigon. Let's see. Hmm. Alright. I think I might have a better idea. I'll pick up... I'll just draw in a train carrying rice and fish to here. Pick up food and drop it off here at Saigon's airport. Same with tools. Meaning fu fuel will be brought in by ship. Won't be a lot, but... I mean, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Because if we're going to get these planes all the way over to Australia, we'll need to fill up with tons of fuel and tons of other supplies for the airplanes. Otherwise, we could also run a smaller fleet of airplanes to reach their destinations. But that will take too much time. Let's see. Let's see. This one will go on to platform two. It will just fill up with a full load of fuel as much as it can and take it down towards Saigon. Alright. Then we'll need a new service to deliver food to deliver food supplies to Ragu. All right. 
pick up do pick up food. Then we're gonna restart deliveries of coal and iron ore to produce steel and then deliver another load of tools. Alright, I should basically do it for the line supplying the needed materials to produce food and tools. All we just need is just fuel to be brought in, as well as for the, but then we'll have to get started on providing services here in this region too. Alright, that should basically be tools and food, well, tools and fuel. Pick up loads of fish, drop them off here at Constantinople Halt. If one platform's blocked, just use platform two, and then we'll need to set up a new route. Alright. Alright, this one will be full to the brim with tools. And this will be full to the brim with fuel. If we could get our airplane that far to Constantinople, I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. Alright. Time to purchase some more of those planes, and hopefully we'll be able to get at least some of these planes to their final destination. Making sure that all these planes head back to oops, back to London, so they can pick up their loads and mail. With that, hang on. All right, that should basically take care of the supplies of uh, planes. Let's see. We'll need an air. We'll need a ship to carry the loads of fuel. Alright, now with that done, let's basically get some new trains to operate in the, in the, well, Europe region. Let's see. I'll need one train to pick up loads of fuel. We'll just carry about 70 units of cargo in each train anyways. Take on another loan. I'll buy that. Put it to work on the new service. Pick up fuel. Let's see. 
Let's get another mogul. Let's see. All right. We'll get some. Let's let's basically get a couple of these vans to pick up tools. Another twelve million. I think we'll just get it up to nine hundred and fifty-five million credits just to basically get the vehicles we need. All right. That will pick up the loads of uh, tools. And this one will pick up loads of fish to be processed into food. All the while, let's see. Cargo trucks. We'll get about 10 of these. You'll pick up food. I'll get another 10 to pick up loads of tools. And another 10 of these to pick up loads of, well, fuel. Now with that done, let's get the trains in the Asia region set up so we can at least deliver supplies. Alright. We'll go for the... Let's see. Let's actually go for... Hmm... Let's actually use this engine this time to carry loads of iron ore. Actually, no. Because at this time, the country is ruled by the British, so... Let's just keep it as it is. We'll need 22 million for the coal and iron ore train to operate in the Asia region. Line 33 and line 34. We'll then need one of these to pick up the loads of uh, steel. Line 36, considering we're not delivering a whole bunch of tools, we're probably just going to get a small train. That'll be 6.13. And now we got to get the re now we just got to get these other trains set up. Let's see. Auto saves. All right. The thing with the money that we take down, we could basically purchase a new vehicle. Okay. Got one to carry loads of rice. Actually, I think it will only just need one small train to pick up loads of uh, fish. Hang on. Which one is the route that connects to the rice paddy? Line 30. Line 31, which is basically fish, I believe. 
Yep. And then I'll just replace this engine with a small tank engine to pick up the loads of fish. Well, pick up the loads of food and bring them down to the airfield. And I believe once that is done, we'll now have every airport ready to be serviced. Well, have every airport needing to basically be supplied. Let's see, line 32. Yep, that's to pick up the food. All right. Now with that done, our vehicles will head out to pick up their respective commodities. And then we should be able to finally get everything set up. We'll need a lot of iron ore at the steel mill to make up the amount of coal that we have shipped in. Now, we still need more mail. Thankfully, the trucks are delivering in the mail right now. But I don't understand why this is not going... Shipment's not increasing. We're carrying 32 units of... of well mail out of London. Now if we could just get this plane all the way to Constantinople that would be great. If not we'll have to make an emergency stop here in Vienna and we'll have to do multiple well airport hops and I'm hoping not to do that. All right. First load of mail, let's actually see what happens. Maybe this plane will fly into Constantinople, but we'll have to wait and see. Trains are off to pick up the loads of iron ore and coal. This one is already practicing its run to pick up steel. My other two trains are, are heading off to pick up to deliver their load, pick up their respected loads. I actually realize I haven't even placed down any signals in this area. These signals are way too far apart from each other, depending on the distance. That should basically be it. Let's just see what happens when the airplane flies out of London. Hopefully it will have enough fuel to basically arrive at its destination. Let's just see what happens. Taking off from London, let's just see how far the plane will go. If it needs to stop in Paris, we'll do that. If it needs to stop in Vienna, we can do that. But I'm hoping to gosh that we will be able to fly this plane all the way to Constantinople. If we can get to, to there, then the distance between their respective destinations will be a lot shorter. Thankfully, the, the refinery is now has another destination to supply fuel, so the shipment is starting to go up a bit, and transport is 100%. What we just have to do is just supply this airport at Constantinople with tools, and everything should be okay. Alright, it's now flying at a nice 93 miles an hour above the, sea, above the ground in Paris. Well, above France. Let's see how far this will go. Hopefully it can reach Constantinople. That's what I'm hoping. We can also have a look. Let's see. Victor's Victoria. Let's see. We're flying from London, and we're trying to get to Constantinople. Well, 
one nine four six. Well, we're passing Vienna, so I guess we're doing okay, but I'm not so sure what happens after we pass it. Will we be able to fly into Constantinople? I'm hoping. Alright, train's heading back to pick up fuel. Let's see. There's tons of steel being produced. So we can basically make more tools. And the factory now has another destination for its tools, so it should increase production by a bit. Alright. Nearing Constantinople. Ah. Okay. So, I'll have to basically reorganize the routes again. Great. Ugh, this is not going to be an easy mission now, is it? Or I could just simply just get rid of these and just focus on delivering loads of mail with the smaller airplanes. Not what I want, but hey, if those small airplanes are able to make it to their destination, I'm pretty sure they are able to handle it. We'll just have to carry have a large amount of these planes flying, though. I'll just carry about... let's see. Let's get 10 of these. That should give us about 60 units of mail. Quite a lot. We'll just see what happens. So... With that in mind, I believe this is a good ending for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my on schedule. And, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!